Welcome. The purpose of this training is to guide you through the usage and functionality of the Dispatch Console in ServiceMax. We will begin by reviewing the overall features of the Dispatch Console and move into more detailed tasks later in the training. Open the Dispatch Console by clicking on the Dispatch Console hyperlink located on the left-hand side of your ServiceMax screen and below the Recent Items area. The console will open in a new window. The console is split into three separate areas. A. Work Orders. This holds various list views to sort work orders based on order status. B. Technicians and Calendar. This area contains the names of all technicians that are in your service team along with their respective calendars. C. A map area for seeing locations of techs scheduled jobs. To assign a work order to a specific technician, click the drop down in the work order section and find your specific team's view for open or redispatch work orders. Then, click and hold a work order number from the top section of the page and drag down to the technician's calendar line for whom you wish to assign and at what time you wish to assign. When you release the Click Hold, ServiceMax will assign the work order and open the new event pop-up window. Here you will find information associated to the assignment of this particular work order, as follows. Assigned to Displays the technician you are assigning. B. Subject Grouping of information from the work order for display on the iPad. C. Description any additional comments that you have for the work order. D. Start date. Displays the date on which the job should start and allows for changing the time. E. End date. Displays the date on which the job should end and also allows for changing of time. F. Location notes. Disregard as we don't currently use this field. G. Duration. Also disregard, as we don't currently use this field. H. Click to check the box next to Remove Current Assignment and Reassign Work Order and Remember My Preference to tell ServiceMax that you are wanting to reassign this work order. Though you have not assigned this work order previously, it is currently assigned to your service team and must be unassigned before it can be assigned to a specific technician. I. Click to check all day event if the work order should take the entire day. J. After completing the information in this window, click Save. If you incorrectly assign a work order to the wrong technician, you can not drag the work order box on the calendar to a different technician. The work order first must be assigned back to the service team and then can be assigned to a new technician. To reassign the work order, find the work order number in the list view for open assigned work orders. Drag the work order number from the top section down and place it directly on the folder with your service name. name. You will be asked if you want to reassign the work order, to which you will reply, yes. After the work order has been unassigned, reassign following the same steps as the original assignment. We will now review the process of assigning multiple technicians to a single work order. Hover over a work order number in the work order portion of the dispatch console. A you will see an arrow appear to the right of the number. Clicking on this displays the options to B. Manage multiple assignments C. Show record. This will open the work order record in a pop-up window. D. Unassign this work order. Do not use this choice under any circumstance. Click on the Manage Multiple Assignments to open the assignment window. The console will prompt you with 
Do you want to unassign from currently assigned tech? To which you will reply yes. Select which technicians will be assigned to this work order by clicking on their names in the technician portion of the console. This will make them appear in the multiple assignment window. After selecting which technicians to assign the work order, click to check the box to the left of their name in the multiple assignment window. Change the start date and end date for each. Select all day if necessary. Choose who will be the owner of the work order. This means that technician will be responsible for entering the details on the work order, but all technicians assigned will see the event on their iPad. Click Save after completing this information. Now we'll review the process of setting color schemes in your work order section. Click on the color wheel icon to open the window for setting color scheme rules. You will see currently available rules and also see the options to create new, edit existing, or delete existing rules. Click New to begin creating a new rule. A. Enter what your rule will be named in the Rule Name field. Try and name it something recognizable and logical. B. Choose a field in the first drop-down box. This list comes from all available fields on a work order and will apply to your rule. C. Choose an action in the next drop-down box. D. Enter the value in the field that the formula should equal. E. Do not use the in expression field. F. Choose what color you want to be applied to the work order line if it meets your new rule criteria. G. Check the box to make the rule active. H. Hit Apply. Next, we will review the process for setting color schemes in the Technician section of the console. Open the sprocket in the Technician section of the console and open the Events tab in the Configure Technician view. Repeat the steps for setting color scheme in Work Order section. Lastly, to set the columns for My Work Orders views, you have the ability to pick the columns and the order in which they appear. A. Click on the sprocket in the top right of the Work Order window in the Dispatch Console. B. Choose the Work Order fields to add on the left-hand side and click the right arrow to move them to the right-hand side. Similarly, remove fields that you do not want by clicking on them in the Selected Fields section and hitting the left arrow to move them back to the Available Fields section. C. Sort the display order of your fields by selecting a field in the Selected Fields section and hitting the up or down arrows until the fields are in the order you wish them. D. You can choose to have this view auto-refresh by clicking the checkbox and specifying the refresh intervals in minutes. E. Hit the X to close after your changes have been made. We will end this training by going through a key few miscellaneous items in the console. To search within a chosen column, choose the column to search in here. The refresh button in the top right hand corner of your screen will refresh the list view or calendar view to the most recent data from ServiceMax. The globe icon is the time zone. This will change the time zone. Do not click this. Time Zoom. 
the plus and minus magnifying glasses to the left of the date fields will change the scale of the calendar. Never change this drop down menu to territory view as we only use the service team view. And finally, hit save after any setting changes that are made in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. For example, after creating color scheme rules or adjusting refresh times. Thank you.